हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स इन पर्टिकुलरली वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सी प्रूफ ऑफ दीज प्रॉपर्टीज बट इंस्टेड वी विल सी हाउ वन कैन यूज देम सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यूज द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स दैट any square matrix a and its transpose that is a dash will have the same eigen values it means eigen values of matrix a and its transpose are same next property states that the sum of the eigen values of matrix is equal to the trace of the matrix that is sum of the eigen values of the matrix is always equal to sum of the diagonal elements of the matrix third property states that the product of the eigen values of the matrix is equal to the determinant of the matrix which is straight forward to understand so you can see that property number 2 and 3 you can use it for cross verifying whether the eigen values of the matrix that you obtain are correct or wrong next property states that if lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n are the eigen values of matrix a then the eigen values of k into a matrix are k into lambda 1 k into lambda 2 up to k into lambda n where k is any scalar similarly eigen values of matrix a raised to m where m is any natural number are lambda 1 raised to m lambda 2 raised to m up to lambda n raised to n similarly eigen values of a inverse are 1 by lambda 1 comma 1 by lambda 2 up to 1 by lambda n and finally eigen values of adjoint of a are given by determinant of a upon lambda 1 determinant of a upon lambda 2 up to determinant of a upon lambda n so you can observe from property number 4 that eigen values of scalar multiple of matrix or any positive power of the matrix or inverse of the matrix or adjoint of a matrix can be obtained from the eigen values of the given matrix a you don't need to find actually what is a raised to m what is a inverse or what is adjoint of a now we will see several examples on the same In this example we are given a matrix A and we are asked to find the eigen values of 3a cube plus 5a square minus 6a plus 2i So let us see how one can do it You do not need to find what is this matrix E is Since matrix A is given from the eigen values of matrix A you can find out eigen values of a cube and a square eigen values of identity matrix are always one so let us first find out eigen values of a characteristic equation of matrix a will be given by determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 using the trick which i mentioned in my previous video you can directly write what is characteristic equation of matrix a so here it is lambda cube minus 2 lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0 solving this equation you will get roots as 1 minus 2 and 3 so these are the eigen values of matrix a now we will find out what are the eigen values of a square as you have seen on my previous slide eigen values of a raised to m will be lambda raised to m whenever lambda is eigen value of a so whenever lambda is 1 eigen value of a square will be 1 square that is 1 whenever eigen value of a is minus 2 eigen value of a square will be minus 2 square that is 4 whenever eigen value of a is 3 eigen value of a square will be 3 square that is 9 so corresponding eigen values of a square are 1 4 and 9 similarly eigen values of a cube can be obtained by taking cube of the eigen values of a so we get eigen values of a cube as 1 27 and minus 
Now we have obtained eigenvalues of a cube and a square. We can obtain eigenvalues of this matrix. So carry forwarding these answers on my next slide. Now we will find out eigenvalues of this matrix. All we have to do is we have to simply substitute these corresponding eigenvalues one at a time. So here we will start with this first eigenvalue of matrix A. So whenever eigenvalue of A is 1, eigenvalue of A square is 1, similarly A cube is also 1. We will put them in this expression. So we get first eigenvalue which is 3 into 1 cube plus 5 into 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 2 into 1. On simplifying which we will get answer as 4. So this is first eigenvalue of this matrix. For the second eigenvalue we will substitute eigenvalue of a as 3, a square as 9 and a cube as 27. So we get second eigenvalue as 110. For the third eigenvalue we will substitute eigenvalue of a as minus 2, a square as 4, a cube as minus 8. So we get third eigenvalue of this matrix is 10. So eigenvalues of 3a cube plus 5a square minus 6a plus 2i are 4, 110 and 10. Now we move on to the next example. Here the question is if the matrix A is as given below, find the eigenvalues of A transpose, A inverse and adjoint of A. To find eigenvalues of A transpose, A inverse and adjoint of A, you don't need to find these matrices. All you need to do is first find the eigenvalues of this given matrix A and use the properties that we have studied. So let us first find out characteristic equation of the given matrix A which is given by determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. When you solve this you will find the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 is equal to 0. You can refer my previous video to see how one can find out characteristic equation of the 3 cross 3 matrix directly. Now solving this equation we will get roots as 4, 1 and minus 1. These are the eigenvalues of the given matrix A. Now as we have studied the eigenvalues of A and its transpose are same, we can say that eigenvalues of A transpose are also 4, 1 and minus 1. We have seen that if lambda is eigenvalue of A, then 1 by lambda is eigenvalue of A inverse. So in this case, eigenvalues of A inverse are given by 1 by 4, 1 by 1 and 1 by minus 1. That is 1 by 4, minus 1 and 1. Similarly, we have seen if lambda is eigenvalue of A, then eigenvalue of adjoint of A is given by determinant of A upon lambda. Here determinant of A is 4. So here eigenvalues of adjoint of A are 4 upon 4 that is 1, 4 upon 1 that is 4 and 4 upon minus 1 that is minus 4 like this. I hope you understood the properties of the eigenvalues as well as the examples solved on it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.